So it's Cardiff Centre on a very cold Saturday in January and the Safe Foundation has got their yurt up in town. So we're going to go and find out what's going on. There's a few of the volunteers. <laughs> Here we go. Here we are in the yurt. Lots of activities. Dicko twins. Hello lovelies. How are you doing? What's going on? Awareness, and we're raising the profile of the State Foundation up there in Cardiff. So we've got a few little games for people to play. Show us some games. Come with us. Come and do some games. And I'll, we'll, Lucy, do you want to be the teacher or the, the pupil? I'll be the teacher. This is a game about inventions and what we're doing. We're trying to increase people's awareness that not everything has come from the West industrialised countries. So we've got a couple of inventions from all around the world. She's actually got it all wrong. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna just quickly tell you where everything came from. Right, Hannah, do you want to help me? Yeah. Right answers. Go like that. And there's actually some surprises. People, not many people realise chest brush was invented in China or the passport was invented in Iran and fishing tools in, in, in Africa. Yeah. So hopefully people have learned something. Take them off so people can cheat. Hopefully people will have learned something and um, also just become more aware that it's not all about Britain and America. Cool. Um, what so else have we got there? We've got information about actually our projects that we've got going on and about the work of the Safe Foundation. And Tell us a little bit about that. What's the Safe Foundation do? We support small communities overseas. Um, very small communities that are isolated or ostracised in the society so they can't access larger funding from the bigger organisations. Um, we're based in Cardiff, a local charity, and we do lots of fundraising parties and things like that. So there's no middlemen, everything that we raise gets is directly transferable and translates into quite significant things over in our project. Um, so because they're small, if we raise sort of £2,000 from a party, it means it can all go over there rather than be taken up with administration costs. Also important to say that we've got a UK project now, which is a, the ultimate aim of the project is trying to uh, reduce negative stigma towards immigrants and people of ethnic minority. Try to open up people's minds, get them to base their opinions on their experiences of other people rather than sort of tab media, and media. Which is why we're doing cultural sensitivity uh, awareness questionnaires as well. Today, which is okay, cool. And what, tell us a little bit about the projects overseas. Where, do, where does Safe Foundation support communities? Yeah, there's, um, we've got eight projects at the moment. Um, there's India, we took a couple in India, Ghana, Uganda, Cambodia, Nepal, Sierra Leone, and Trinidad. Okay, that's it. So we're not limited to where we can work. Um, we tend to we tend to work with people who are very small groups, as you said. Um, education projects tend to be quite our full say really don't they and that means um, training local people to help their own community so they don't have to rely on volunteers or or western aid Western particularly aid. yeah you know, it's about promoting indigenous um, sustainability as well within their local yeah and all the all the projects you work with are run by uh, local indi- partners yeah so people who know the culture and you know the communities yeah. that they're working with um, yeah and so it can be a lot more relevant and a lot more sort of targeted the age that Okay, brilliant. And how's it all gone today? Uh, it's been quite tired. It's really tired. It's about three o'clock, something like that. We've done all of our questionnaires, but they're gone. We've not got any leaflets left. We've got new members. We've got some stuff. It's been really good. We're here tomorrow as well. And if uh, people want to connect with the Safe Foundation, what's the best way for them to do it? Well, they can visit our website, thesafefoundation.co.uk, and they can sign up there. Or they can look out for our yurt in town, if they can come into Cardiff. Or what else? Come, come to festivals, come to gigs, and all are advertised locally. So. And Facebook, we've got a Facebook page and Twitter. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Say bye-bye, girls. Bye.